I'm Graeme Shaw and I'm here with Professor Andrew Tutt who is the Director of the Breast Cancer Research Centre here at the Institute of Cancer Research in London. He is a leading investigator of a study called Legacy which will give scientists the first comprehensive map of metastatic breast cancer. Professor Tutt, can you explain to me what metastatic breast cancer is and why it's so difficult to treat? Metastatic breast cancer is the form of breast cancer that has occurred when breast cancer cells have left the breast, travelled around the body and um, succeeded uh, to create secondaries within other organs of the body. When a breast cancer has learnt how to survive outside the breast, it can grow there and stop those organs functioning properly. And that is what leads to women losing their lives with this disease. We need to do very much better um, in understanding this disease. How will the legacy study help us research metastatic breast cancer? We need to understand how breast cancer survives in these different organ settings within the body and that will be different in different contexts. So when breast cancer cells are populating the liver and surviving there, they are doing it in a different context and maybe using different um, pathways uh, to survive there than they might do surviving in the lung or in the brain uh, or in the bone. What legacy will allow us to do after death is to study all of the sites within uh, a woman who sadly lost her life to metastatic breast cancer and understand all of these different contexts at a much deeper level. We will take that material and we will use the technology in our tumour profiling unit at the Institute of Cancer Research to look at all of these genes, all of these gene messages, and that will let us develop ideas around what the most important driving biology is that we can think about uh, to make a difference in this disease. How could the information from this study help to improve treatment for breast cancer? If we've really understood at a much deeper level what the drivers in different contexts in different types of breast cancer are, we can think about what the key fuses are within that uh, wiring diagram of cancer that we might go in and design a drug against to remove the fuse and turn the lights off. And that we can test then in our laboratories. We can develop models from these areas of metastasis and we can take out a gene that we think is a driver gene and see if that actually turns off the lights for the cancer and stops it growing. And that then really gives us a strong rationale for designing drugs against those targets or crucially understanding where something has become resistant to an established drug but where perhaps had we designed combination therapy approaches we would have succeeded much better on behalf of women with that particular form of breast cancer with metastases at that particular site. Professor Andrew Tutt, thank you very much. It's a pleasure.